is reducing the area of lawn important? We have way too much lawn. We've got over 40 million acres of lawn in this country, which is the size of New England. And the way we treat our lawn, which uh, is to mow it frequently and put a lot of uh, fertilizer, which contains herbicide, by the way, on our lawn, it becomes an ecological deadscape. There are four things that every square inch of our yards needs to be doing all the time. One of them is to uh, sustain a viable food web. If we don't have plants that capture the energy from the sun and then pass it on to other organisms, we don't have any other organisms in our yard. And if we don't have any organisms in our yard, because half the, most of the country is yard these days, then we don't have other organisms and we have failed ecosystems. Uh, so so um, maintaining these deadscapes is not an option anymore. The second thing that uh, that we need to do in our yards is to sequester carbon, pull carbon dioxide out of the atmosphere and lock it up in, in plant tissues and then have those plants pump the extra carbon into the ground. All plants do that, but some plants do it a whole lot better than other plants. Uh, and lawn does it the worst of all the plants. So they have very short root systems. Every time we mow the lawn, we're, we're cutting down any carbon that uh, the plant has sequestered in its leaves. Uh, so replacing lawn with almost any other type of plant is going to sequester more carbon in your soil than leaving that lawn. The third thing our every property needs to do is support diverse pollinator communities. We need pollinators, not because they pollinate a third of our crops. It's really about a 12th of our crops that they're pollinating. We need them because they pollinate 80% of all plants and 90% of all flowering plants. Where do we need them? We need them everywhere we want plants, which is everywhere, not just next to, to an ag field. Uh, and lawn, of course, particularly the way we treat it now, where we put in uh, uh, herbicides that kill clover and other things that might support some pollinators. Lawn doesn't support any pollinators. Uh, then the fourth thing that, that uh, our yards need to do is manage watersheds. Everybody is part of a watershed. Everybody needs to landscape in a way that responsibly manage manages that watershed. And again, lawn is the worst alternative there. Very short root systems. Uh, in the summertime, the, the ground under the lawn gets sun-baked and hard as a rock. You get the thunderstorm, most of the water just runs off. Then all those things we put on our, our yards, the fertilizer and the herbicides, run off into the, the local watershed. So again, in terms of managing watershed, lawn is the worst choice. Uh, almost any other plant will do a better job. Uh, our our uh, meadow plants, our prairie plants have very deep root systems. They're, they're great at holding water on site. And of course, any woody plant, particularly our trees, are much better uh, at holding water on site. So uh, because lawn is not, not, not doing any of the four things that every landscape needs to do, we really should reduce the area that's in lawn. I don't suggest we get rid of all lawn because lawn is an important status symbol in our culture. It, it tells our neighbors that we, we understand what the rules are and we're willing to play them, um, but we can have less lawn and still accomplish that.